Okay, so this one says what number is 20% of 625? We're still going to set up a proportion. One ratio equal to another ratio. Are you writing this down, Nathan? Yes? Yes. Okay. So what always belongs in this right bottom corner? 100. And now let's look at my question again. This time, am I given a value for percent? Yeah, so this 20%, take the 20 and put it over here. Because isn't 200 over, I'm sorry, 20 over 100 the same as 20%? No. It's not? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, remember, percent is always out of 100. So 20 out of 100 is 20%. Then I look at my question again, and it says, what number uh, is 20% of 625? So because it says of in front of it, that tells me it needs to go top or bottom? On the bottom. Because remember, it's is over of. And so the only value I don't know is this is value, the part. So that can be x. No, because remember, I've used this 20% over here. And this ratio over here is always going to be my percent. So yeah, don't let that is confuse you in front of the 20%. If it's got a percent sign, it absolutely has to go over here in this right ratio. Everybody got it set up? Okay, what's my next step? Do I multiply straight across? Cross multiply. Okay, cross multiply. So I have 625 times 20. If I don't know it off the top of my head, pull to the side. Multiply it out. Twelve thousand five hundred. Is that what you got? Anybody get something different? Because I could have made a mistake. So now that I've multiplied that, my answer goes here. Bring my equal sign down. I did do something wrong? Yeah, okay. Let, uh, well, let's check. Five. That's okay. 10 times 5 is 10. Mm -hmm. 10 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 and 12. No, I think I'm okay. So now I multiplied these two numbers. I still have to multiply x times 100. What's 100 times x? 100x. So now remember, if my 12,500 were on this side and my 100x were on that side, that's okay. You'd still get the same answer. So, Devin, what's my next step? To divide by what? By 100. Both sides, because it's an equation. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. My 100 over 100 becomes 1, so I'm left with x here. And then use that shortcut. Take a 0 from top and the bottom and do it again from the top and the bottom. So what am I left with? 125 over 1, which is written as 125. Does it need to be in a percent? Why not? Because that's not what I'm solving for. I'm just trying to figure out what number belongs up top here, the part. Now let me prove to you why this is the correct answer. If I take my original proportion here, and rather than writing an x, I write my answer of 125. It'd be 125 e over 625 equals 20 over 100. Now if I cross multiply, the two numbers should be exactly the same. So 625 times 20 is what we already worked out, and we said that was 1, uh, 12,500. And what's 125 times 100? 125 plus 200 at the end. So yes, this is the correct answer that I found.